The other day I saw a pretty cool little gif where a guy used syringes such as these to move objects using air. So there's a pocket of air trapped between these two cylinders. So I can push it forward or pull it back. So you only need one actuator to do both the pulling and pushing action. Now I'm going to try this with water just to see how well that will work. Alright, now I have water in one of the syringes. There is a small air pocket, but it should still operate pretty well. That's pretty cool actually. And I'm assuming with the water it's stronger than it is with air. So Now there are issues with this because it's very difficult to mount these syringes to metal objects. You can't drill holes in them clearly because that will rupture their integrity and all that stuff. So there are limitations, but the concept is pretty cool. So maybe a fun project for a kid or just pretty much anybody. So I have it taped onto the metal there, as you can see. And there's the water cylinder right there. So, yeah, it's pretty cool actually, but obviously could use some perfecting. Alright, well, thanks for watching, and I hope you come up with a cool little project with this stuff. I do find that water is a far more smooth actuator than using air. And it's hard to do force tests because my valves will fail long before I actually reach any kind of force point using liquid or air. So, yeah. Alright. Thanks for watching.